cover the process for successful print and cut jobs on your Silhouette Cameo 4 or any Silhouette cutting machine. If you've never done print and cut before, or if you're having trouble with your attempts at print and cut, we're going to start with the basics. Print and cut jobs mean that you first print out a design onto your material with a standard home printer. You then feed the printed page into the Silhouette cutting machine and cut out your printed design. Print and cut jobs are a great way to create fun and professional looking projects, such as custom stickers, custom temporary tattoos, and other printed jobs where you might want to cut out a printed design. All Silhouette cutting machines include an optic scanner that allows you to perform print and cut jobs. We're using the Silhouette Cameo 4 here. Registration marks are printed marks that can be read by the Silhouette machine. These marks are generated from the Silhouette Studio software. They must be turned on specifically when you want to set up a print and cut job. Registration marks allow the Silhouette machine to triangulate so it knows where the cut lines are assigned according to where printed information appears. Reading registration marks allows the machine to do things like precisely cutting around the contour of a printed design. A print and cut image is a design that includes print data and cut data. First, there are the registration marks. These are seen by your printer to print them out. These marks are also seen by the Silhouette machine. The other print data is the printed image in your design space. This printed information is seen by your printer but ignored by the Silhouette machine. The cut data is the lines appearing in your design workspace. These lines are ignored by your printer, so you won't see them on your printed page once we get to the step of printing. They'll be what the Silhouette machine uses to perform its cutting action. The cut lines are performed according to where the registration marks appear. The following are the default steps to make sure you are able to properly set up and successfully perform a print and cut job. Note that the order of these steps is important. First, connect your machine to your computer and power it on. Then open Silhouette Studio. Make sure you have the most up-to-date software. If you do not, please update your software from www.silhouetteamerica.com software. Make sure you have the most up-to-date firmware for your machine. You can go to the Send panel to check your firmware version. If using the Cameo 4, you'll see an update message if such is needed. For other models, please check www.silhouetteamerica.com slash firmware to determine if there is a higher firmware version available. Then update if needed. Verify your computer is communicating with the printer you'll be using. Open the page setup panel and select the correct machine if necessary. If using a cutting mat, select the correct mat size you'll be using in the drop-down list next to the cutting mat option. Note that if in the future you are not using a cutting mat, make sure you have none selected in this setting. The cutting mat option will change how your registration marks are printed. Adjust the page size to match your media exactly. Note that for your first job, we recommend using a standard letter or A4 size material. Other custom sizes may encounter errors for various reasons, so please use a standard letter or A4 size material for your first test to make sure everything is working properly. Some materials have their own backing and be can be fed directly into the Silhouette machine, whereas others require a cutting mat. We recommend for your first test to use a cutting mat. Open a new design. Set up your design by placing your desired print and cut image onto the design area and sizing it as desired. Check the boxes next to show print border and show cut border. This allows you to make sure your cut job is set up to properly fall within the area where your printer can print and where the silhouette machine can cut. If anything falls outside of these areas, you'll want to reposition things so they're inside the noted areas. 
click on the registration marks icon in the page setup panel and select on. You should now see marks on three corners of the design space. These are the registration marks that will be printed. Note that it's imperative this step is performed after all previous steps have been completed. The position of the marks can change based on the previous settings. The only changes you make now should be limited to moving and resizing the design. For your first job, please ensure default registration mark settings are being used by clicking Restore Defaults, even if you haven't changed the defaults. This is also a good practice when you open an existing studio file that already has registration marks turned on. Ensure your file is not overlapping the registration marks, hash mark areas, cut border, or print border. Note, we recommend you also avoid the indented area at the top of your page. While this is not overlapping the hash mark area, it can interfere with the file reading and cutting successfully. Remove any excess data or designs that may fall outside of your design page. Even though information may fall outside of the active design space, the Silhouette machine may attempt to process such additional information during the job, which can lead to interference with proper registration mark reading. At this point, we're ready to print the job. It's important to note that everything you've set up in the software needs to match your actual setup. If you change your setup going forward from this point, such as changing your mind on material size or using a cutting mat, it will cause failure points down the line. If you decide you want a different page size or your cutting mat setup or anything else, you would need to go back to the beginning to redefine your software settings. Load your preferred media type into the printer. Note that for your first job, we recommend using a light colored material. This will provide a greater contrast with the black registration marks and make the registration mark reading process easier. Make sure your printer has an ample supply of ink. This will make sure that your print looks nice and the registration marks are solid. Once ready, print your job to your printer by clicking on the print icon. Do not adjust your design after printing. A print preview window will appear so you can verify it looks the way it should. When you click print from the preview window, your print dialog box will appear where you can adjust your printer preferences to the printer to match your document setup. Note that we recommend adjusting your print quality setting for your printer to high. This helps the registration marks be crisper and darker, making it easier for the Silhouette machine to find them. Place your printout onto the cutting mat, if you are using a cutting mat. Place it exactly as you see in the software in the upper left corner. If the grid is showing, it can throw off registration mark reading. Load your printed material into the silhouette. If you had selected to use a cutting mat in the software, you must use a cutting mat. If you selected not to use a cutting mat, load your material directly into the machine without a cutting mat. Again, you cannot change your actual setup from what you had defined in the software. When loading your mat or material, make sure that the mat or material is placed in the upper left corner as close to the machine's loading guideline as possible. Once properly aligned, press the load button on your silhouette machine. Here's a tip. Make sure your cutting mat or material is properly supported and is not hanging off the edge of your table or workspace. You'll want to ensure there's ample space for the mat or material in front of the silhouette machine and that there's enough space behind the machine for your mat or material to feed through without obstruction. If using the Cameo 3, you may want to pull out the storage drawer and lift the support extensions for additional support to your mat or material. If you're using the Cameo 4, you may want to pull out the roll feeder tray for additional support, though you'll want to leave the roll feeder collapsed. Go to the Send menu in the Silhouette software. Select the material type you're using from the Material Settings drop-down. Click Send to detect the registration marks. After finding all the registration marks, the machine will proceed to cut.
If after clicking the Send option, you receive a registration failed message, please try the following. Sometimes a second try for detecting the registration marks simply needs a little help from you. Click Manual. Use the arrows on the Send page or on your machine to reposition Tool 1 over the upper left black square. Click Register to register and cut. If a manual registration fails, unload the mat or media, cancel the job with the small X on the Send panel, load the mat or media again, and click Send to register. Let's review common causes of registration failure. If you continue to receive registration failure messages, you should save the file, close everything, and start fresh. Then please review the following. Make sure you followed all the previous steps in order. Specifically, make sure you selected the appropriate page size and selected mat or no mat according to your actual setup prior to printing your job with registration marks. Please check to make sure the mat or material is properly supported during the action where the Silhouette machine rolls your mat or material back and forth through the machine. Check your lighting conditions. Harsh, bright lighting above the machine, as well as low lighting conditions, can affect the optical sensor. Additionally, dark, contrasting shadows over the sensor area may cause a failure as well. Even and or natural lighting is best for the machine to read correctly. If using a shiny or metallic material, overhead lighting may cause a reflection into the optical sensor, which can cause it to fail. If you're using a darker material, you can cover the edges of the material with white tape so the registration marks print on the white surface. The tape must be large enough for the entirety of the registration mark to fit on the tape with some room to spare. We also recommend a smooth material as too much texture in the material can cause concerns with registration as well. If the registration marks were successfully found, but the cutting alignment is off from your printed image, please review the following. Make sure you followed all previous steps in order. Specifically, make sure you selected the appropriate page size and selected mat or no mat according to your actual setup prior to printing your job with registration marks. Check the level of misalignment. Print and cut works off of a 1 16th inch margin of error. If there are slight distance anomalies from what was expected, this may be normal. Utilize the print bleed feature or make the image slightly larger than you prefer and use an internal offset if you're attempting to achieve more perfect cutting alignment according to the printed image. While the registration mark positions can be adjusted and may work well outside the default settings, default registration marks are the only position in which we are able to troubleshoot and guarantee success. If your cut is not successful and you have used custom settings for your registration marks, we suggest clicking the Restore Defaults button for your registration marks and trying to print and cut anew. If you follow the steps outlined in this video, you should enjoy success with your print and cut projects.